Hey guys, hey. Maybe third time's a charm. Maybe third time's a charm. Say hello if uh, you can see me because this is my third time to try. There I am, there I am. So we're going to try this again. Happy Friday, happy Friday. FB is, an, is not my friend today. He is not my friend, guys. So those of uh, you that uh, are on my text message list, I'm sorry for all the text messages, but you know, that's why I have it because I want to let you know when I'm gonna go live, when I'm, what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do. Uh, anyway, but uh, earlier I was just going to show you my boxes. I wasn't going to show you my face because I am an all natural today. <laughs> it, no makeup, no, you know, my hair is up. I have been, you know, just doing some different things in my craft room, uh, trying to get, you know, change over the seasons and stuff because as crafters, as wreath makers or whatever craft you're in, we always have to work one or two seasons ahead. And so I wanted to, uh, you know, just get some things ready. Hello, Debbie and Erin. Hi, Misty. Hi, Jeanette. <laughs> Thank you. Thank y'all for being here. Guys, earlier I was going to go live and, you know, push the live button and it was doing good. And then all of a sudden it wasn't. It kept trying to reconnect and it was just really wonky. FB has been really wonky today because uh, several people that I was, you know, trying to watch off and on throughout the day, it was like cutting out and that kind of thing. So um, let me know. It looks, it looks to be good. What I did is I switched, uh, I went and got the internet, hot, the, my hot spot uh, from downstairs and I said well let me try that and so then it seems to be okay hi Debbie hi Kathy hi Tammy Rose uh, thank y'all for being here okay so uh, like I said you know I am uh, just want to show y'all for my wreath making loving friends or just someone who's interested in where I get my supplies because that is one of the most asked questions uh, you know on my com I mean on my uh, comments on my uh, videos as well as I get private messages or I'll get emails which I welcome you know that's totally fine so that's why I share with y'all uh, in my style might not be your style but the places that I get my ribbon first and foremost is uh, Hobby Lobby because you know it's convenient it's right there but Hobby Lobby is uh, limited on their selection so craftoutlet.com craftoutlet.com is your ribbon friend also the wreath shop uh dot com and then a deco exchange dot com trendy tree is another place those are all places that i have ordered from but i usually can find what i'm looking for at craft outlet and so then i place an order and so honestly this is probably one of my first orders this year i can't remember i have to go back and look but i do have a lot of friends that like to see what ribbons i get Okay, hello from Fort Worth. Well, I'm in Brenham. Hello, uh, Kathy in Alabama. Uh, <clears throat> okay, so I said Hobby Lobby, and um, some of you that have been friends with me, you know, for a while, you know that uh, in this spring we got a Hobby Lobby in my hometown, and it's a little, it's a smaller one. It's not the larger one, but I'm so thankful, so grateful. And so um, when I, uh, when they have their free shipping. Um, Sometimes, like because I use a lot of 10-inch de deco mesh, that is my go-to now. And so I don't wanna go into the store and buy all of it, the ones that I want. <laughs> <laughs> and so, you know, I hate it when I go there and I can't find any and I, I just want to be respectful to other people. So uh, over the weekend, I think it was like uh, free shipping over $50. And so then, I mean, they do the shopping for me and they box it up and they send it to my house. And, you know, then I get free shipping. Anyway, so I bought a bunch of these because these are my favorite right now when I say a burlap deco mesh. This is what I use. Usually these two, uh, you know, from Hobby Lobby. And, um, you know, I cut them at 12 or 14 inches depending, depending on kind of my mood and what kind of design that I'm doing. I'm just gonna be totally, 
totally honest with you. I'm, to I'm totally being transparent. I'm all natural today, no makeup, you know, hair's all pulled back and all that kind of thing. Because uh, earlier when I, I was just going to show you on my boxes, I wasn't going to show you me. <laughs> but then when FB wasn't uh, working, I had to put you on the tripod and all of that stuff. So it's all good. So you, this is me. I'm just myself. All right. So that's why I do that. And then I also like to incorporate some of this in there. This is like the ivory poly deco mesh you know deco mesh is deco mesh it's going to fray there is a craft outlet and you know trendy tree um the wreath shop deco exchange it may be just a little bit step up higher quality uh so you know any mesh is going to fray any mesh is going to fray so that's why i always flip my mesh you know like turn the uh, ends over and uh, you know then I roll it from there and so it's it's honestly how you kind of hide your ends uh, if you get fraying because I know that there's like a wood burning some wreath makers use a, a wood burning uh, tool and that kind of thing honestly I tried it one time and I'm like no and <laughs> this is way too much work so that's what I do I just cut it with a rotary cutter you know like this I just cut it with a rotary cutter, you know, 12 or 14 inches. And uh, like, because I like the same um, kind of style of wreaths, that's just what I do. And the reason, okay, so those of you that don't know, I do design wreaths for a local business uh, for local pickup. And um, my sister is the uh, one that asked me to do the wreaths. Otherwise, I wouldn't have really been doing this for this many years. I've been doing it for since 2015. And so she keeps me very busy, <laughs> very busy. And so we kind of have just a special relationship. Um, you know, I buy all of the stuff and I basically sell it to her shop at a wholesale price. That is just a real just a just something that she and I worked out together because then the wreath becomes then part of their inventory they market it they sell it they package it whatever um, if it's you know after the season and for whatever reason if the that wreath didn't sell it's at their discretion if they want to mark it down that is just um, something that sh that we worked out together and so i do get questions about that you know how much do you sell your wreaths for how much do you do that it really just depends you know and so in the, the geographical location of uh where we're at i that's why my wreaths always look kind of the same uh because i kind of know what that customer bit customer base is going to pay for uh, or you know what they're what they're wanting and then when I have a little larger wreath sometimes it, it takes a little bit for them to uh, you know if they want to you know have a different style of wreath and, and that kind of thing <clears throat> anyway so um, those of you that don't know that's the reason why I do that and I do share uh, my wreaths uh, if I can if I have the time to do a tutorial I will do that but as the uh, you know get into the busy season because I also post on YouTube uh, you know and Instagram and you know here on Facebook and so I also like to do crafts I also like to do painting and I like to do all kind of other stuff and like next week I have uh, my Christmas in July series that I'm going to be doing so today that's what I've been doing kind of working on getting some ideas and things done for that filmed and uh, so then now I need to switch over my spring summer ribbon uh, and get into like more I'm kind of I want to do some more just kind of um, all around wreaths for them and then I'll have to get into fall and then Christmas and that kind of thing and so uh, that's the reason why I'm doing that thanks Debbie I appreciate that hi Jessica um, <clears throat> Rose says uh, her luck she would burn up the whole thing yeah you're probably talking about the wood burning tool yes I could not get the hang of it I really couldn't anyway so let me take just a drink so when when I decided I'm like hey you need to get get you know I'm trying to think ahead you need to get started on getting some different supplies in uh, and then Hobby Lobby had free shipping so I'm just like Score. and it was all their mesh and ribbon was on sale and so I got me some of this now I think they also had this in green I'm not quite sure if it what it's called but it's in it's it just says ribbon garland 
and it uh, looks like this. I found some of this, it was like um, more of the off-white or the cream color from Dollar Tree. Um, but this was regularly $8.99 for this. Let me see how many um, feet are on here. For 15 feet. And so you got that much, you know, which is a lot, a bigger roll than what you get at Dollar Tree. But I was only able to find one that one roll from Dollar Tree. And so I got, you know, some of those. And then I like the burlap. <laughs> if y'all don't know that, I guess that's the country girl in me. Uh, and so then um, I already know that Hobby Lobby packages in four. So that's why I try to make it easier on them when they package. Uh, so I just ordered four of these, these quarter full. Um, they used to have this in black. I'm hoping that they bring it back, but, but they have this two and a half in white. And so then I also like this window pane. I use that a lot, <laughs> a lot in my burlap wreaths. And so I love this one from Hobby Lobby. And this is like in the, uh, where the deco mesh is, you can find those two, actually all three of these. This, um, and then this right here, and then this quarter full right here. You can find all of that in the uh, specialty section. All right. Um, <clears throat> um, Tammy Hunter, that was, I'm not sure what you're talking about, honey. It picks up what you say. Okay. I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure what she's saying. Um, I did get a microphone. So y'all let me know if, if, am I cutting out? Because Tracy with Craft Around the Clock advises or that she encouraged us to get a microphone for the sound and stuff, but I move around a lot. And so if it is not going to, um, if it is, if it's going to, anyway, I just won't use it. <laughs> so I said, well, let me put it on today. And while I do my ribbon, just to see, you know, so when I watch it back, I can't, okay, great. Okay, great. Hey, Donna. Thanks, Jeanette. Jeanette says it sounds great. Thank you. Um, Tammy says it picks up when you say, oh, all right. Miss Debbie says loud and clear. I'm trying to text, but my phone is picking up what you say. Oh, <laughs> okay, girl. I'm not very good at mind reading. I'm sorry. I'm not very good at mind reading. All right. So um, another thing that I wanted to share is um, now I'm not going to tell y'all everything because this is a big order. I'm not going to tell y'all all the prices because I just, I'm not going to be able to do that. So craftoutlet.com, uh, they, you know, the cheapest one that I got is, I saw, let's see. The cheapest one I got was $3 and 71 cents. And the most expensive I got was 20. Let me see where did I see it. I just spotted it. See, I'm not good. Oh, 21 95. And that is the, and I'll know what that is, but usually the 10 inch rolls are around $4, $5, $6, you know, seven, eight. It depends, you know, if you get a quarter, uh, one and a half inch or if you get a two and a half inch. So that's going to, you know, determine. Okay. So, um, they finally had some of their tan Chanel stems in stock. The last uh, few times that I tried to order, they didn't have any, uh, or they were out of stock. So I got some of those. And so, um, yeah, see, I can't put my O tan. Two twenty-five for I think this is a hundred. So two twenty-five. So when they get them, when they have them in stock, then I try to get them. Okay, awesome. Thank y'all so much for letting me know. Y'all can hear me. Okay. So then for the signs, um, I just wanted a couple of signs because I want to do some a home wreath, and uh, so these were three ninety-five. $3.95 for this. I got the home one. And, um, you know, I do like to paint and, um, you know, do my own signs, but I like to mix it up too, you know, because not everyone likes my painting and not everyone likes all of that. Uh, and that's okay, you know. I just wanted to kind of, you know, mix it up. And then this blessed 
Ah, so cute. And this was $3.95 as well. $3.95 as well. And so... Oh, thanks, Jeanette. Jeanette is saying she's a sign maker if if I ever need anything and she, I can't find it thank you all right so then um, a lot of these ribbons are going to be natural um, types of ribbon like um, you know I, I didn't get any like holiday um, because I have a lot of that uh, so in my area Halloween does not sell <laughs> it doesn't and so you know, if you are a wreath maker, you, you understand me. You understand. Now, I don't have an Etsy shop. If you have an Etsy shop, that's going to be totally different. But if you are just selling in craft fairs or if you're selling locally, you totally get what I'm saying. You just going to know your clientele and what is going to sell and what is not. Um, Halloween does not sell here in, in my area or the store that I'm at and neither does St. Patrick's Day. It's weird. It's very weird. Uh, so, <clears throat> anyway. Now, I should have taken all these out, I guess, and stuck them up. So I got a couple of these because I like this to mix in with, you know, just different, like I'll probably mix it in with all my burlap and all of that stuff. And so I share my wreath, uh, wreath wreaths on, on my page for inspiration because that's where I get my inspiration from is when other people post their stuff and you know it's like oh my goodness that is so cute that's why I bought this sign this blessed sign because I saw a grapevine wreath that she had like magnolias on it was it was like an uh, oval wreath she had this in the middle and it had like uh, or no hydrangeas and greenery and stuff and I said oh that's beautiful so that's why I got that and then I got some of this uh, green and white because um, I also do some sport or some um, high school color uh, and these are our school colors green and white I've been getting some requests for those so that's why I got that as well as this polka dot and this has a little shimmer to it so these were probably like $3.95 or $4.95 $5.95 something like that and then I got a gray and a blue also just to accent and so I'm getting to the point where you know there there are there are very few wreaths that I will bake multiples of because I just like to make original wreaths and I like to just change it up a bit and so um, that's why I guess I buy so much ribbon because I probably need to get rid of a lot of the ribbon that I'm not going to use and so um, you know I'm looking over here at my shelf where it's like I, I know I'm not going to like I've made a wreath or I made a couple of things and uh, it still has quite a bit on it but it's like yeah I'm probably not going to use that again but then maybe get, maybe I will get the idea to use it next year so that's why I guess I keep it all and so sometimes I do buy multiples because I hate to run out that is one of my pet peeves I hate to run out now I did get this one look isn't that going to be cute for fall this reminded me of scarecrow for whatever reason when I saw it online I was like hello Melissa hi uh, Linda so Donna's having horrible storms in South Carolina oh god bless stay safe friend uh, this reminded me of a scarecrow so I'm gonna do that on a fall wreath so that's why you're not gonna see a lot of Halloween wreaths from me because they don't sell very good in my area um, more fall and then Christmas and then this is a canvas with the white on there like that and then I got this one because I'm going to do a lemon not a lemon a um, leopard I'm gonna do a leopard fall and I'm gonna throw in some turquoise and then this one I think was on sale that's why I got it I like this brown with lemon um, I think I'm done with summer and that kind of thing so I'll just put this it was on sale so I'll just put it for next year and then this one 
I love this wreath. I have done, this is one ribbon that I have used um, several times in a cross wreath, a cross, um, because it just, it goes so good. And, and when I make one, it immediately sells. And so I know that it is um, a fan favorite here in my hometown. And then this quarter foal I got uh, because it's the one and a half inch, you know, the, the, this burlap from Hobby Lobby is two and a half inches, but I got some of this one and a half inch also. Yes, wired ribbon for wreaths, absolutely. Absolutely, I love that plaid too, Donna. Isn't it beautiful? It's beautiful, I just like, well this is, I, I don't know, I just, I prob I'm probably gonna put these two together because they just remind me of a scarecrow. <clears throat> and uh, so let's see, oh, and this is cute. I, this is the first time that I've seen this one because they're always getting new patterns and stuff in. And so, um, I love this and <clears throat> most of the time I buy the uh, 10 yards I think these are 10 yards yes 10 yards but if if I know I'm going to use it a lot and they offer it in the 50 yard I go ahead and get that because it's usually a good bargain and so let me see I haven't come across yet to so which one did I pay Cabana stripes ribbon white and beige. I wonder if that's this one. Oh no, that would probably this one. This one I use a lot, and so I, I'm like I have just a little bit left. So I, I knew that I would use a 50 yard roll, so I bought that. Now this one was 21.95, so it's a little bit a uh, little bit more expensive. And then also I picked up this tip from uh, Julie Samako of Southern Charm Wreaths. Um, what she does is she puts the price on on her uh, ribbon rolls and she said so then that's how she knows like when she does her wreaths how much that ribbon costs you know because we forget so if you don't know that tip I just want to pass that along uh, so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go back and um, look and because so many of these are similar I just have to check out the color I mean the uh, yeah the colors and stuff and so just to get the um, pricing yes all right and then I got this one this is a one and a half inch of that window pane um, you know because I like to use this one from Hobby Lobby but I spotted this one on craft outlet which is a one and a half because I like putting the one and uh, two and a half in the one and a half inch together I like to do that all right okay so then here's another blue stripe I always buy like two and then I had to get this one I did it's so cute I just use this one for fall you know the blue I'm really into the blue and whatever else color the denim and the sunflowers <laughs> and so let me show you here this is what this is one uh, a wreath that I'm working on uh, that has that 10 inch deco mesh and then uh, I have this blue and sunflower that I got from craft out a couple of years ago and then I finally used it this year that's what I'm so bad about that and this gold ribbon is actually from Hobby Lobby Hobby Lobby and so I just you know cut my my um, my mesh my 10 inch mesh at I think 14 inches and I use those three that I showed y'all at the beginning and so I have uh, 18 bundles on here and so then I have 18 of these sunflower with the gold and then I put in some of this denim mesh this denim mesh and then also that's the reason why because I was working on this and I used the rest of my denim mesh and so I'm like, ah, you got to get some more of that. And so, um, whoops, it almost fell down. So that's what prompted my order to Craft Outlet is that denim mesh, which is right here. <laughs> so that is that. 
all right and so then i have some one and a half of this already but um they had this in stock so i went ahead and grabbed a roll of that and then like i said i'll go back and put all the prices on there so that i will remember and i got a couple of rolls of these green because like i said this is our school color and so i'm going to be uh, making some wreaths for that so craft outlet has like all kind of colors you know and as a wreath maker y'all know that um you kind of have to stay away from unless you have a license from the licensed logos of the different um, teams and you know different you know things like that because we can get into trouble find and that kind of thing so this is another one of that natural color I love sunflowers too sunflowers and denim well I've been doing that you know the past couple of, of crafts that I've been doing if there haven't been wreaths, that's what I've been doing because I'm I love that for summer. I this one this is different than anything that I've showed y'all. Um, I think this one was new, and I love this. I love Rick Rack. That is my that's I just love Rick Rack. And so they had the black with the gray and white stripe and the black Rick Rack. I love it so much. And so then this is another one of those that taupe one taupe and black. Now, it, look at this, guys. Isn't it pretty? Oh, my goodness. It's sunflowers. Now, this is like a, a turquoise, I guess. Turquoise? I don't know. Teal? No, it's not teal. I don't know. Turquoise and sunflowers. So, <clears throat> and this one is just another one of those quarter fold. They package everything so well. And then this is gingham. I love me some gingham. I love all those patterns. That is just the country girl in me. Country girl in me. Um, this is another. Okay, I got another one of these because um, I am going to be making another wreath that has the. Uh, it was. It, it's a sign from Hobby Lobby that has bless. Oh gosh, what does it say? Ble it's like it has this these colors and it, it's very primitive country. Um, bless bless this home. <laughs> That's what it says. Bless this home. And it had this and like denim and I had raffia and you know some window pane mesh. And so you know I didn't film a video. And so I had a lot of comments uh, on that for if I would film a video. So I got another roll of this because this is one of my main ribbons that are in that wreath and I got this from Craft Outlet from Craft Outlet now this one was new it's chicken wire burl I mean uh, not burlap denim chicken wire denim chicken wire wire yes Donna gingham rickrack and denim you can never go wrong that's right girlfriend you are right and then this blue so as I, as you can see, uh, you know, th that's, this is my style, you know, craft outlet has all kind of styles, all kind of styles. And, uh, this is another blue and then I only got one of these. I don't know why, cause I just got one. If I like it, I guess I might get more. It's like a little darker blue, not quite denim, but yeah, you, it'll pass for denim. And like I said, I got quite a few of this color because, and the different uh, patterns and stuff, because I'm going to be doing some um, wreaths for my, that this goes with our school colors for the community and so, stuff. So I'm going to be doing that. And then I don't know if, I don't think I showed you this one. Look at that. I got two rolls of this. Look at this. The one and a half with the teeny tiny little thin Rick Rack. How fun is that? I love the blue. That's right. Love the blue. And then I did get one of these, um, which is also white with the red uh, glittery Rick Rack because I use this a lot in my uh, Christmas and ran out of it last year. And then when, when I looked, because sometimes I will run out of a ribbon. 
and then I'm like well if they have it then I'm gonna place the order well if they don't have it then I don't place the order I know it's weird I'm weird look at this my primitive country 11 friends look at this yep craft outlet so um who knows I may put that together you know I, I'll put all kind of different you know like patterns and and um, all of that together just all the countryness of it so if you're just hopping on I just shared my um, craft outlet and Hobby Lobby haul Hobby Lobby online because I don't want to go in the store and buy all of the mesh and not have anyone else so when they offer free shipping I'll let them do this do the shopping for me so I got that and then um, I got some of this this is this honestly this is what prompted my um, order because I'm like let me look and see if they have some of that denim mesh and so I think that is exactly what I typed in 10 inch denim mesh and so this pulled up and I'm like okay we're placing an order we're placing an order and so I got four of those because I am going to be using a lot of it. And then I got this green with the kind of metallic on the ends because I'm like, that's going to look really cute, really nice in my school. Um, this, this is kind of how I can kind of get away with um, the high school, not probably not as much, but like when you do reads that have like the college or the uh, professional teams you have to be very very careful because of the trademarks and copyrights and all of that stuff so anyway again what I'm gonna do is figure out um, how much I paid for them and I'm gonna write the price on it I got that tip from Julie Samako with Southern Charm Wreaths uh, because then you can like when you make your wreaths um, then you can like when you pull a ribbon you're like oh I paid that for that and that kind of thing so anyways um, I appreciate y'all hanging out with me and I appreciate your patience. Um, oh, I forgot to show y'all this one. I got the, this is like more of a burlap. I thought it was very interesting. So what I did is I typed in, or, or cause like when you're on craft outlet, you can like click on the side. Like if you want a ribbon, if you want like a green color, you can click on green and it will show any green that it has. Now you'll have to sift through the different shades of green, but I found this one and I'm like, that is very interesting. So green burlap, it is, it's burlap. green burlap and all of it's wired um, you know if you are just popping on and you're interested in wreath making always 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 get a uh, wired ribbon and the reason is is because you know if it flattens down you can pop it back up you can reshape it reform it and that kind of thing so yeah I'm gonna be pretty busy because that's just what I do just what I do um, I'm a crafter who also does wreaths <laughs> and I share them on my page for inspiration just different colors because that's where I do I get inspiration from you know other people watch other people and that kind of thing I do have a wreath the basics tutorial playlist on my uh, YouTube channel that kind of shows you you know kind of my basics of what I do if if you're just starting out uh, because in my wreaths uh, I do so many of the same methods that I don't always show like the the repetitiveness of cutting the mesh and, and putting the mesh on. And I will get comments to say, well, you didn't show me how to make the wreath. Yes, but I did say, you know, go to my wreath basics tutorial because that's where I show you how to do, you know, that kind of thing anyway. So, oh, thank you for watching sweet Donna and sweet Linda. Um, thank y'all so much. If uh, I appreciate y'all hanging out with me this Friday evening and also for your patience because I had some issues trying to go live. Thank y'all so much. Y'all have a blessed evening, a great weekend, and we'll see y'all soon. All right, guys. Um, again, my Christmas series starts on Sunday, so I need to get busy and get something done because <laughs> I do want to share 
some new Christmas in July as well as some of my favorites because I find new friends all the time. All right, guys. God bless you. We'll see y'all soon. Bye, guys.